These are not active right now because of the switch to the pump. It says make lubricant. Or it says don't make lubricant. So it is work, it is pumping. More heavy. Still. Now the question is, do we want to do that again? And if so, do we just want to add some more land over here? I think the answer to that is yes. to have had all of that filled out, maybe a little bit further even. Copy this exactly as it is. From here over to, well, we'll do here. We can rearrange some of the pipes if we need to. Ooh, I don't know how well it's gonna work. We're probably gonna have to bring a bunch of stuff around. Let's say. here why am I not I'm like rotating stuff forgotten how to play the game That's the key I was looking for. Ah, no stone bricks. I don't know if we have any in the system either. How are we not already making refineries in a mall? Does it take to make them? Too much. <laughs> not too much. But like, not worth my time to, like it would be nice if we already had it and that part's worth the time, but I don't know how often we're even going to need to make more refineries like that. When we could just come over here and grab bricks. Two, four, six, eight, twelve, 
14, 15, 16. All right, let's say a bunch of these. No, I need those. Bring them back. <laughs> Ooh, I feel like I have a little bit of heartburn from dinner. Had Mexican tonight. Eight nachos. <laughs> All right, so we're up a little bit higher. up 16 but we only have four more queued up and there's six blueprinted ones hope we can make one more with the iron we have right here yes okay I think we should be good this other side did we no we did okay well this is the one we originally had do we hook up two sides down here they're running petroleum gas actually has nowhere to go there's so much of it that's ideal Yeah, maybe we're overdoing it right here, and we're going to throw things off balance. Guess we'll find out soon. Okay, they don't seem to share. We cut that part off. Okay. So let's get oil. to get these pipes around. It'll be fun. Let's kind of put them together. over here. Let's 
So far, so good. Now we just need to combine them with these. Thank you, robots. All right. There's one heavy here. Then light here. Perfect. Petroleum gas being as high as it is to the point where these are shutting off, I'm okay with that right now. There should be no excuse for plastic production to be low, unless it's running low on coal. But no, it looks like we have green lights now. Well... What do you... Is this something I've seen before? Like, why do you take a while? not asking for coal. Oh, because it can't place anything on the... Those are fine the way they were. This will be fine too, I guess, but okay. These are fully saturated. That's why these are slow. Ooh, it really gets divided out here. I don't... We pulled those for red circuit production, but it is... It is backed up now, so here's what we're going to do. Let's split you off the right way. There you go. All right, so now is enough making its way down here. Again, this is being split off, cutting it in half, and we don't want that. Why would you, what is my past self thinking? Now that can stay saturated all the way down. Looking good. Now splitting off here. Much more plastic's gonna make its way up to red circuit production. Ooh. Green circuits are a little, little light. prioritized green circuits coming out here for blue circuit production. I don't know if we want to leave that that way or not, because it really shortens what's over here. <laughs> da 
does look like it's getting back to a bit more saturated. Is that what we're seeing all the way down here though? Green circuits. I don't think we're going to do a new green circuit project tonight. That takes some doing. That effectively is not going to do anything. This is doing a lot though. Let's turn off the output priority. It is going to slow down blue circuit production. But right now we need to balance that out with red circuit production. Copper? Or no, you're not asking for copper, you're you're good. Alright, we could also give like a double band of output here because they're getting kind of backed up, which is awesome to see. Let's say, okay, you're coming out here, you're coming out there. So we have two rows coming out. And they're only really adding onto one right here. That's not ideal. Let's say, come over to here. mines in the way. It's fine, we can go under. The way is under the mountains. Oh, so close. Really? I mean... Take you out if I have to. All that is to say that we are getting enough red circuits down here, which that looks much better. Are you going to start getting what you need? <laughs> Great timing on the sound effect and the autosave. Looking good, looking good. You need more green. Where do you need green? We have green right here. What's going on with you? Yeah, these splitters. Oh, we're making enough of these. They're not being used fast enough for you. That's fine. Then you, you have what you need. 
Good, good. All these are green. These are green. Perfect. Okay, so now you're not getting enough red. We're pretty much good, though. You also need red circuits. They're not making their way all the way down. They do on occasion, though, it would appear. They kind of have a way of fixing themselves because once the ones that are producing back up like this, they use less red and then it makes its way down. So once the level twos back up, then more red circuits will make their way down. It's not a perfect design though, I don't think. Because this is almost completely saturated and they're not getting any red circuits at the bottom. A little, a little sus. There we go. Now they're getting some. Maybe they'll balance out. Because these have to work a little bit longer to make these. All right. Looking good. Picking them up and taking them to the right places. Now all of that was so that our new steel smelting array got all of the modules that it needed, which by now I would have hoped that it would have gotten more, but we still have some flashing lights up here on the map. Considering I've got 50 in my pocket, surely my robots can drop some off. Yeah, there we go. It's a bunch. Any more? here. Okay, now I'm out again, but there are only 93. There, let's see, 93 entities are missing the material for construction. 110. Okay. 110 of these chips will fill out everything that's being asked for. crazy that still just one line of steel isn't good enough. I just kept this going to add to it. Like we could put in another array. Just thinking, how did we do this? Most of these aren't even firing. Because they're not even getting iron fast enough. Solid belts. These were a little overkill. This is more efficient. Well, only so many of these are running too. I guess we could pop in beacons along here. Right, so what would this look like? I'm thinking five 
and then power. Didn't really want the radar. Okay, it won't fit anyway. These, though, would have to work a little bit differently. Let me cut this off for a sec. Might be able to put underground belts and only cut out a handful of these. I mean, it could also come down and around, but see what we can do here. that but okay get buffs where we can we can put some along the top and bottom too could do something like Something like that. Yeah, we have room for that all the way across. out rotate we could probably go a little bit more efficient than this, but that's actually okay. And this would reach, for the most part. We'll do something similar up here. Take some time for these beacons to be built as well. 
Oh, what do we have going on here? Oh, they shot some acid. They're not making it through just yet. So I'm gonna keep an eye out for next time though. Cause I think we're gonna wrap a little early tonight. Not feeling so hot. Stomach acid wise. I know it's a major concern to say you're not feeling well, so. <laughs> I don't have any flu-like symptoms. Yeah, so we won't see much of a change right now until more of those 360 level 3 modules are made. Well, I don't think we can get much squeezed into here. But I think that's going to be alright. We provided some moderate upgrades to the production line today. Nothing crazy. We do need to get back over to our rocket development, which actually, let's take a look up there. We didn't finish it last time, I don't think. We didn't even go look at it yet today. The area that we were clearing out, can we run? I forget if we can go up through here. No, we have to go over to the right. Follow this concrete. Run, man, run! <laughs> so funny. Running at like 80 miles an hour. We've launched 101 satellites. Okay, yeah. So we didn't make everything that was coming up to here just yet. But we got as far as making a belt of a lot of the ingredients that we're going to need. Right. So when we come back next time, we'll start back here and we'll work more on our rocket silos the next time we stream Factorio. So I'm not 100% sure if next Sunday will be Factorio or not. We do have some new games coming out, so we're going to weigh that. But um, Factorio would never go away for forever, even if it went on hiatus for a bit. Uh, if you love Factorio, though, let me know. And, uh, you know, if you really like watching streams and episodes of this, then I'll definitely take that into consideration uh, when I think about things like whether or not we want to uh, to put it on hiatus or not. But yeah, thank you very much for joining me tonight. We got pretty far with the longing as well, so we'll check back in on that on Wednesday. And as always, I'll see you next time. Good night.